the thing for me is if the game's fun or not. That's the thing. And it's just right now, I don't know. I don't, I can't say if this is a game, I couldn't, I don't think I could see myself competing in this. Because I told you, the, the thought process I come towards is, this is just something that I thought earlier. Is, are people enjoying themselves in a way that they'll enjoy for, like, months on end? Or is this just a game that right now, people that don't play fighting games or net play comfortably with each other, they're just having fun net playing with each other, you know? I, 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 and I don't have an answer for that. But me personally, I think it's just very difficult. It's just difficult for me to see. That's all I can say, you know? Too early? I mean, bro, we've it's, it's played the same for like 18 months with like some differences, you know? Just not that many, in my opinion, but... I I still feel the same way I did then, is the thing. What a beast. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> I, did the, I did the first one too early. Yeah, I mean, the game's... The game's I hate when people say that shit. Like, bro, it's too early. The game's not even out. Bro, that shit comes out in four weeks. <laughs> like, what do you... I will say this, like, the lobby is a little bit improved. But we said that during the first beta, I guess the my thing was, like, how much could they really change it, you know? That's not enough time. They can't... Especially if they're still committed to doing it like that, in that style, you know? There's only so much that they're going to be able to do with that amount of time. They hard committed to doing this, you know, the the nasty like pixel dot dot pixel or whatever you want to call it uh, style, and you know that's fine or whatever I guess. Uh, it just I don't know. It just feels like it's not made for me, and that's fine too, you know. I guess that's kind of what like what made me kind of sad about it. it was like, oh, I'm an idiot. It feels like uh, I don't know. It just like it doesn't speak to me the same way. It's, it's, that's, and that's all I can say, you know? That I'm just being honest with you. Not saying that they have to make a game for me specifically or anything like that. It's just like... I've just done... Uh, it just doesn't feel the same way. DNF is probably going to be like this too. I mean... That's... My worry has been... They take the success of Dragon Ball... And they mistake... Certain things that they did game... Gameplay wise that they did with that game They make the mistake of thinking like oh, this is the kind of game people like when You know that game had so many other different things going for it To where now my issue is You know like Giuna was talking about this. He was like see Obama only wants to play games that he plays for five years or something like that But you could just play a game for six months, which is fucking wild to say because I feel like I've played more games over the past 10 years than he has. <laughs> that is, that's not really the, the point. The point for me is, it becomes a problem when all of them start to feel the same. You pick up Sam's show, people play it for six months, stop playing. Uh, you pick up uh, Grand Blue, people pick it up for six months to a year, the rage is in, people stop playing. Uh, DBFZ was hot during the so Sonic Vice Goichi thing, had some decent offline. And then people, it feels like it had a huge drop off after that. It BB tag, you know, people played it. They pretended to play it. Somebody threw a phone at somebody at the at a tournament. Everybody gets mad at me when I spent more money on a farewell video than anybody else did for the damn game. Uh, and then nobody even talks about it anymore. You know, it's it, it feels like everything is the same. It's like this this fast little like NRS cycle, and it, every it always feels the same. My thing is, that's fine here and there. That's fine here and there, because yeah, the process of playing them for the first few months during the release or while the game is developing, that's very fun. That's the most fun time to play them. But, where's, when when your reward for playing is limited to that, and that only, that's, that's not fun, that's not satisfying. This movie speaks to be fair, people said that of SF5 when it released. Uh, so here's the thing, with SF5, I'm going to be honest with you. If SF5 didn't have the name Street Fighter in it, y'all wouldn't have been talking about that game past week two because of how that game released. Now, granted, it's a much better game now. It's in a completely different area. But when people said that back then, I feel like people were like, what are you talking about? You can't say that. The Street Fighter, every blah, 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 blah. Dude, listen to me. If, any, if that game had any other title and it released the way it did, y'all would not have been talking about that game past week two. If it didn't have CPT, if it didn't have the engine that it had behind it, 
if it didn't have people, the community literally carrying the game, that shit would not have gone down that way, to be honest with you. And that has nothing to do, that I feel like has nothing to do with how much it's changed. That's just, I feel like an objective statement. I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, the thing is, like, this is just how the game is, though. Like, by now, they've they've had, what, three delays? I think it just is what it is. This is the game that they want to make on some level, you know, so it just is what it is. You're saying, like, I don't know what they're, they don't know what they're making and shit. I'm, I can't even, I can't say any of that, man. I can't speak to that. All I can tell you is how I feel, you know? And I can tell you how I feel the same way I told you how I felt about KOF 14, MVCI. I would feel bad trying to, like, uh, say, I would feel like a hypocrite if I didn't tell you how I honestly felt, you know? And I gotta be honest with you, like, I don't know. I don't know. If people are having fun with it, like, I guess I, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I guess it's just me. But, uh, I hope that, I'm gonna put it this way. I hope people really stick with it. And I hope that they're not gonna be sensitive about it. Because people are gonna talk shit. So I hope that they're prepared for a year and a half down the line or two years down the line. When and if they are still playing or if they aren't. People are going to be like, yo, I told you so. I just, and I, ho I hope they're ready for that. Well, yeah, but like, my thing is, okay, so let's say that takes two or three versions, right? Because that's the thing, like, every first version of a fighting game is bad, right? We all generally agree with that. Exard had a solid start. Exard had its problems, no doubt. But even that game, right? So... Something that I thought was really weird from the start with Exert, I was like, bro, why can't you tech throws in this game? Like, that's so weird. You know, teching throws in GG is not, they're usually based on reads, right? It's like usually a very small window or whatever. Uh, like even in Rev, when they added it, it's it's got it's still got a very like small window. I think it's what, like two frames? Like teching throws in GGs is, yeah, it usually happens like by mistake sometimes even, you know? But for a first version of a fighting game, I was like, why don't, like, why would you make this game and not have throw tech in it? That shit was so fucking weird. The game wasn't perfect. They had, like, what? Oh, like, uh, YRC OS and stuff like that. Proximity guard on block. You know, all kind of stupid shit. But the core game, and even though a lot of those issues were solvable, the core game was still very satisfying to play and very fun. Even if the top tier was stupid, you know, because I... Here's the thing. Like, I feel like with this game series in particular, it, the combo ends up being a lot, like, it's character fo It becomes too character focused. But not enough gameplay focus, I feel. So, like, people will be like, oh, well, well, you know, if you talk, if you bring up an old, like, compares this to older GG or something like that, right? It's really easy for people to just be like, well, what about Testament? What about, uh, what about Elfo? Huh? 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 What about, uh, yeah, oh yeah, man. Like, they'll just start bringing up old characters and, you know, what about Johnny? <laughs> they just start saying shit. The problem is that that doesn't account for the gameplay and how the gameplay felt. Even if those characters were really, like, stupid or whatever, right? And they obviously could have done very simple shit to fix them. Or, you know, make them less obnoxious or whatever, you know? Give me that. The, th the thing is... You could always tell when you sat down and played the game, you're like, the core gameplay was very fun, was very satisfying. Even with as stupid as YRC is sometimes too, man. You could feel, especially the deeper you got into the game, options in particular. Options was was something that you felt that even very early on. Before you even knew all the mechanics, you always had a feeling of like, I can do a lot of different things. And then as soon as you start to learn those, all of a sudden you're like, yo, you really can't, like, there's an answer for ev just about everything, you know? But Sign for sure had its problems when it first came out. But the thing is, like, you could still play the game. And even the, you know, like, it's like I said, part of the problem with this, the discourse around this series is, like, older GG players were fucking idiots. They constantly were just saying stupid shit. To the point where you can't take them seriously, right? Now, Blaze Blue comes out. What did they do? 
They all threw a fucking hissy fit. They couldn't believe this company would make a fighting game not made for them. It's just, it's baby, it's baby GG. This game sucks. This game sucks, man. They just, you know, cop just jacking off into their own mouths. That, all that shit. And what happens? That game comes out. Sure, the first version's a piece of shit, but little by little, it gets to become a really good game, a really deep game. Shit, by the end of it, BBCF is a deeper game than Rev. The, the BBCF is a way harder game than Rev. That's the irony there. What that game evolves into is way more difficult. It's not even close. But they did that, that socially inept screeching on the internet for so goddamn long, that now, anytime you hear anybody who is a GG player and they complain about something, you automatically be like, well, damn, but they were bitching back then about shit, too, you know? Exert comes out. It's not plus R. What? And YRC is so bad. Granted, you can have complaints about YRC system. I think it's, you know, kind of shitty, too. But they did that socially inept screeching again. The point. Then look at that game. Awesome game competitively. Competitively? Are you serious? Just because you didn't pay attention to it. Just because you didn't play it until this game came out and you had a reason to pay attention to the IP now. Doesn't don't uh, misconstrue that game had mad people going hard in the paint for it It was a little bit different back then you didn't have Marketing budgets you didn't you know, that's one thing you got to give them credit for with strive They whatever their marketing strategy was it worked. They got more people talking about it in the West That game I wish it would have had the same treatment honestly, but even content creation That's such a big part of it. I talked about that earlier. That wasn't really that big of a thing outside of Maximilian Outside of Max and Eris that wasn't a thing six seven years ago, you know you didn't have that really like base to really depend on to get people talking about the games like that, you know?